involute involute of a circle now let us try to draw involute of a circle involute of a circle is the path traced out by the end of the thread during winding or unwinding around the circle now let us draw this circle first the initial length free length available with us it will be equal to length of the circumference now let us fix one end of the thread here and the other wing end it will be here now let us join these two points the this length will be equal to length of circumference here now let us wind thread around a circle keeping thread tight first point is here and other end is here let us hold the pen keeping the thread tight now move this pen it will give us a volute of a circle this is the involute of a circle just now we have seen the concept how involute is generated but graphically how it is to be drawn let us see this is our problem draw the path traced out by the end of the thread which is wound around a circle of diameter 40 mm for one complete rotation keeping thread tight first of all draw a circle of given diameter given diameter is 40 mm therefore radius is 20 mm after drawing circle divide this circle into eight or 12 number of equal parts let us divide this circle into eight number of equal parts now take this horizontal line length is equal to pi d for given diameter the total length of the thread is equal to pi into d that is 3.14 into diameter given is 40 mm is equal to 125.6 mm One twenty five point six mm. Somewhere in the middle of one twenty five and six. After that. divide this length into same number of equal parts as of circle join the ends
let us give numbers 1 2 then to locate different points on the curve at different locations draw the tangents at a time you can draw two tangents tangent at 7 and 3 tangent at 8 it has been already drawn similarly you can draw tangent at 3 also in the same same setup as per the need initially the free length is full length that is equal to circumference but during first 45 degree first 45 degree rotation this much length that is one eighth of the circumference will be reduced that's why reduce one segment of this line and they take that much distance in compass and taking 7 as center cut tangent at 7 this will give the P 7th point This is P eighth position. Then during next forty five degree rotation, the length reduced will be up to this sixth point and taking six as center, cut tangent through six this is the P6 point repeat this procedure reduce one by one segments small segments from the circumference and cut tangents at the corresponding points we get points on involute P5 then P4 taking 4 as center P4 then P3 then P2 taking 2 as a center then P1 and finally there will not be any length length becomes zero after one rotation then draw smooth curve passing through all these points we get involute of a circle you can use french curve or if you are comfortable you can draw a curve just by freehand
this completes involute of a circle it can give dimensions as well Thanks for watching.